Goodwood Festival of Speed is one of the best events of the year for us. As a team, we really, really enjoy it. What a lot of people don't probably know is, is that Goodwood Festival of Speed, for us, is seven days long. We're literally there from the Monday before Goodwood Festival of Speed until the following Monday. We have to get there and we have to set up. It's, you know, we, we go there in uh, full operation where we have the truck there with all the awnings out and it just takes two or three days to set everything up and be ready for Goodwood. We go there and put full effort into it and uh, make sure everything's as perfect as it can be. It's probably the biggest stage in Europe to display drifting and I obviously want to try and make sure that it's done to the best of my ability because everybody from motorsport in Europe and in the UK obviously especially is at Goodwood Festival of Speed and thousands and thousands and thousands of public that may not know kind of yet what drifting is or what it's about but kind of has seen it but don't really get it so I feel that it's part of my job to really you know show the general public show other enthusiasts in motorsports show other racing car drivers how cool drifting really is and how you know how far it's come in the last sort of 10 years that I've been involved in it and really make sure that people truly understand how amazing it actually is. For us, it was a really busy time because obviously we were unveiling the GTR to the public for the very first time and I was very keen for it to be the best it could be, obviously after filming. We, you know, we definitely incurred a few, uh, a few scratches and a few bruises to the car. Obviously it didn't help with me ripping the back bumper off, but the guys got it all sorted out, got it repainted and got it back on the car and the car was working uh, pretty flawlessly for the first day anyway. Day one for Goodwood Festival Speed for us is actually on the Thursday. It's press day, so all the press come around and take photos of all the cars, and we do a lot of interviews and you know really describe to people uh, what drifting is and what we've been doing for the last sort of 12 months. And one of the coolest things that we were doing at Goodwood was we were premiering Battle Drift 2. Anybody really that had been invited or had been involved with the project was there. Um, this would also be the first time for me seeing Battle Drift 2. I hadn't seen it up to this point. So it was a very exciting time for a, a lot of us, including my team that had obviously worked so hard to make sure that the car was ready for the filming. It was, it was definitely one of those moments where I felt very, very proud. Battle Drift 2 had been very challenging for us as a team to make sure that we had the car ready in time for the production. It was very, very cool to see everyone's reactions as well, because nobody had seen it, including me and the amount of effort and time that Monster Energy had put into making sure that this video was amazing, was incredible. So I was very, very grateful and very, very, I felt very, very lucky at that point to be able to sort of share this moment with everybody watching it for the first time. So day two for us, Goodwood Festival Speed, is the Friday, which is the first general public day, and it's the first time that anybody really goes up the hill. I remember being very nervous that morning because I knew that I had to get the car up the hill, and for anybody that has been to Goodwood Festival Speed, the first thing they normally say is that it's very narrow, the hill, and it is incredibly narrow, as you get, especially as you get up the top where the flint wall is, it's very, very narrow. And um, this thing's much bigger than any of the other cars I've got or have driven before. So I was taking it fairly carefully. Uh, obviously, you know, the first couple of times up the hill, there was a massive sigh of relief, I felt, as I actually came across the finish line because um, you know, even for me, I'm still, at that point, I was still learning to drive it. We'd only really done the filming. Um, so I hadn't really had any test time in it to kind of really get a feel for what it, what it could do. And um, it's, it, it's one of those cars that you feel like you've got a bit of grip and then all of a sudden it, it finds like another load of torque and it just lights the wheels up again. So you kind of have to really uh, feed it uh, power rather than just like punch it all the way up the hill and uh, yeah it was a, a scary time but an incredibly uh, satisfying time as well. So at the end of day two after the last run up the hill everything seemed to be running fairly smoothly we were fairly happy with the way the, the car had been running. The only thing we had noticed was that we had lost a tiny little bit of oil pressure so we just our plan really was just to keep an eye on it um, on Saturday morning as we went up the hill for the first time. So yeah, Saturday morning, another couple of runs up the hill. I remember uh, going back down to the start line for the first run up the hill. Again, everything seemed fine. There was, no, there was nothing to worry about. Everything seemed to be running fairly good. I'd done the run, got to the top, looked down, and we had lost more oil pressure. 
and at this point I knew something was probably quite wrong. So we got it back into the pits and we set about trying to figure out what exactly had gone wrong. And it wasn't really until we got all the um, engine um, back down to pieces was it that we noticed that um, the oil filter had actually inside broken up and starved the bottom end of oil, which was really, really strange. It's something we've never seen before and it's you know probably something we probably won't ever see again, but it was just this stock oil filter that came with the engine that had just obviously had a manufacturing fault, um, probably like one in a million chance of ever happening and it happened to us at Goodwood Festival Speed. But I'm very, very blessed in the fact that I've got some really, really good partners and sponsors around and the guys at PWP Parts World Performance drove down from Birmingham with new parts to get the engine back together. So things like engine bearings and a new oil filter um, were coming down from Birmingham, so we knew that we had the bits to repair the engine overnight. Mark from Abbey Motorsport was there at the weekend. He went back to Abbey Motorsport, which was about an hour and a half drive to go and get more equipment and more tools needed to get the engine back together. Yeah, the boys worked all the way through the night and uh, yeah, successfully got the car back together for the Sunday. Realistically, other than that small little incident, uh, everything went according to plan. Goodwood Festival Speed is one of those uh, amazing events that as soon as it's finished, you want to do it all over again. And uh, we're very excited to be going back again this year. Looking forward to going back up the hill and having, um, having a lot more fun there. Sunglasses. Oh, the cheap shirt and the sunglasses. No, I can't. Oh, yeah.